My story specifically is really all about um, the fact that service is the rent we pay for the space we occupy. Okay. You know, um, going through and, and really being a servant leader and not just going through, but growing through. Mm -hmm. um, he, you know, uh, Marvin talks about him being locked up in prison, but a lot of times we're in a psychological prison. Come on. You know, that uh, eventually becomes physical for us. And so to have to actually break out of uh, psychological pain, emotional incarceration, right? Uh, being diagnosed with stage four cancer as a kid, right? Uh, my own biological father never visited me one day in the hospital, losing my hair, my self confidence, my self esteem, my will to live. As I say, oftentimes, if we had to move the color purple on the screen, mm -hmm. I tell you, just like Sophia, all my life. Come on, see, see I, I had told to you fight. I thought that was little things <laughs> that he say, right? Okay, go ahead. Sir. You know what I'm saying? And so to fight through the storm and the rain and find that your test of testimony, your misery becomes ministry, your mess is a message. Mm. Uh, your stumbling block is a stepping stone. God use your setback as a setup for your greatest comeback. Mm. You know, we all got a story that he'll use your tragedy to your strategy mm. uh, to move your life to the next level. And so uh, <laughs> to bounce back from a setback to find the can in cancer, uh, to now develop a mentorship program for many of our young brothers called Boys to Books, to write books now, to uh, be looking to develop this conference, which is in, in, in the, the throes of everything coming out sat Saturday, August the 5th, and uh, just really to uh, empower people to overcome obstacles. Come on. You know, 